$5 grade crossing signals. Too good to be true? We'll check it out right now on the main track. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome aboard the main track. It's great to have you with us today. In my last episode, which I'll link right above, I told you about some big plans for a switching layout that I was gonna be constructing in my office studio and that is where we're at today. And right here behind me, you can see some of the progress I've made so far. Got some of the bench work done and I also have just some trains laid out on the top right there. So I've been working a little bit on this new layout here and also my main layout. One of the things I've been doing in recent days is constructing a new grade crossing and I was able to find some really neat, very cheap grade crossing signals. Well, to be honest with you, this will have to be part one of two because I'm still waiting on the circuit board controllers for these little signals to get to me. I had that on order from the manufacturer over in China and we all know how the supply chain issues have been recently, so when I finally get that in the mail, we'll be able to wire these up and turn on the LED lights and see what these little signals are made of. But for now, I wanted to show you what I have done so far on that crossing with the signals installed, give you an idea of what we're shooting for here. Sedalia, Missouri, which is the city I'm modeling in the 1980s, had a lot of grade crossings. And that means for my layout, I need a lot of crossing signals. So I got to searching and I found a product sold on eBay by a company with an unusual name. It's called We Honest. Now I'd never heard of them before and these aren't something you're going to find in your hobby shop. I did a little digging around and found out it's a Chinese company. Now it seems a lot of products we use these days are from China, but these are literally sent from the factory in China straight to your doorstep. And one of the big things that caught my eye was the price. Take a look right here, $4.99 for a crossing signal. I figured there had to be a catch. If it's a bust, it's only five bucks, right? So I went ahead and placed the order. And as you can see, they've made the cut so far, and I've got them protecting my crossing on 5th Street. I've also got some set up on Ohio Avenue at 16th Street. It's an unusual setup that I've constructed, modeling a spot where the Katy Main Line slices right through that intersection. Looking these things over, there are some pros and cons. Now first up for the pluses, these things have pretty decent craftsmanship, and when you look closely you can tell they're made and wired by hand. They're made out of brass and they're very sturdy, so they're not going to snap off if you bump into them on your layout. The mast and signs are also metal. Now the lights themselves are red LED, so they should last a while. Now the signal faces themselves, though, are made of strong plastic. Now there were some small burrs and flashing on the plastic that I had to take off, and I used an X-Acto knife and a file to do that. But it was no big deal to spruce that up, and it only took me a few seconds. All of these signals come mounted on a screw base with threading that you can secure with the nut underneath the layout, and those are included. As for the construction, the wiring comes up through the middle and out the top of the post and then down to the lights. When you look around the back, you can see some of that wiring. It's been painted silver like the rest of the unit, but you can touch that up with some black paint like I did, and that makes them nearly invisible. Now when I took these signals out, they looked a little bit on the large size. I'll be honest, I've not spent quite as much time looking at and studying signals as I have the trains and the tracks when I'm rail fanning. So I did some scale measurements and compared them to the highway department specifications that I came across. And lo and behold, these things are very close. I think my measurements showed these things might have been about six inches too big, but it's nothing that you're going to be noticing with your eyes. Now when you're on eBay, it's important to know what you're ordering. The We Honest listing doesn't provide a lot of details. It has its HO scale signals listed in two inches or three inch versions. And you'll want to get the 2-inch versions. This right here is the 3-inch one. And you can see there's no way that's going to fit scale-wise on an HO scale layout. It looks more along the lines of O or S scale. Now for the crossing scene itself, as with all of my streets on the layout, I use Rick's Products Roadway Sections. Now these are meant for the bridge decks for the kits Rick's has, but they make great concrete streets. Now for the wooden crossing surfaces themselves, I use the ones made by Woodland Scenics. Blair Line also has some nice ones. At first, I put down some basic scenery, and then I marked out where I wanted the crossing signals to go, and I put a gravel base down just like the prototype. I drilled my hole, fed the wires through, and the signal slid right in. And then with that screw base and nut, things are going to fit pretty snugly, and as I mentioned, they're not going to be going anywhere. As you can see here, the signals have pretty decent details. 
but I'll likely go back sometime soon and use some parts from Details West and their signal kit, and I'll install things like bells and crossbucks facing both directions. Now as for this entire corner here that I'm constructing, there's going to be a lot more stuff coming, including a bar called Steve's Corner Lounge. It's been a long-time fixture there on the corner of Ohio and 16th Street by the old Katy in Sedalia, and I'll be building that out of this Walther's House Kit. I'll show you that process in the coming weeks. Well, I'd like to hear from you on this. Have you tried these We Honest signals on your layout or maybe some other manufacturers? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll look forward to hearing about your experience. So as I mentioned, we'll be able to do part two of this crossing signal series once I get that circuit board controller in the mail. I'll have a few busy afternoons ahead of me wiring these all up on the main layout. And when we get to that point, I will also have a signalized crossing here for Highway 13 on the switching layout. Until then, we'll see you next time right here on the main track. Thanks for joining us.